YouTube, it's Ace Trainer Jake here once again. Um, last time we opened the Tyranitar tin, or the Napoleon tin, we were going to do the Tyranitar tin today. It's kind of actually dented up if you can see it, but hopefully the cards are fine. We still got Chilling Rain like we did last time, and, but other than that, we also have, I found these, I've never opened these before, they're like one pack, can't see them, but they're like, have Phoebus and Well Lord. Plus the chilling rain packs. We're gonna open that separately from the kind of the set we did last time. Um, but yeah, um, I knew some people. It's been a couple of weeks since I first heard about the comments. Um, but if you guys, some people have been saying about a quick Q and A. Um, if you guys want to do that, um, feel free to use this comments um, to put your questions, and um, we'll go from there. I'll either go live or um, we'll probably. Just maybe gather your questions and just do a short video just answering all your questions and try to figure out how to do it some sort of fun way if we're not doing live. Um, so yeah, feel free, ask all your questions. Um, yeah, you can even ask more than one. We'll try to kind of pick to make sure everyone's getting involved, but for sure try to make it fun and have multiple from each person even. So go crazy with that. Hope you guys enjoy that feature. But yeah, if you like this video, like and subscribe to this channel um, yeah it's kind of been growing a little bit thanks to you guys um, so yeah we're gonna have another V striker tin to open up here um, so I'm excited and I hope you guys enjoy this video just as much as the other ones and so we'll go ahead and we'll go with the little blisters here we'll start with the bass going to well lord well lord can't even say that I'm gonna try to say it kind of fast and then we'll go into the five packs of Chilling Rain, and then the two battle styles, and the I think I think it might be the same as last time with Darkness of Blaze, Sun and Moon, and Sword and Shield or something like that. But we'll see what it is when we break into that. So I don't know what the pull rates are on these guys, but I hope um, it is a good one. And. We got it here, so we'll go ahead and just show off the little cards here. We got Feebas, of course, goes along with Melotic. And then we got the Holographic Melotic. I don't think I've ever even had this one, so I think it's not a promo or anything, so I could actually stick it with my Darkness of Blaze set that I am building off. So that is pretty nice. We'll set that off there. And there's our Chilling Rain pack. It's kind of interesting. I thought they would have would have put like Chilling Rain promos with this one pack where it's Chilling Rain but uh, that's actually pretty cool we'll actually open this one as well oh there was a I just noticed that from this box I think it's the same coin but that's that one actually I like this one of the favorite coins I have is this one that has like kind of a blue border I can't remember where I got it but that's cool we got a new Lugia as it's kind of fading away from use so we got into the next little one here. Um, showing off those cards. Like I said, the coin is the same. We got Lugia. This time we got Wilmer and the holographic Willard again. Now this one's from Vivid Volt Voltage this time. So that's pretty cool. I don't think I have him either. That hollow is pretty cool. I'll stick those guys for other way to make room, but you know you don't need to necessarily see them. And we got Moltres this time with Shadow Rider, so we'll open these two up, and then we'll go right into the five packs and start the main content of this video. I was gonna open one of these with uh, Empoleon, but I kind of forgot that. All right, let's see if these little blisters can give us a little first pack magic. Again, thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. And yeah, I'm looking forward to your questions. Um, I'll try to gather them up. I mean, hopefully, I didn't really mention it, so you don't really, weren't really expecting it. But if you have any questions from other videos, I will definitely put that in the groups with the ones that you may put with this video. Try to make it fun. Maybe do like a couple pack openings in between questions or something. Just kind of make it cool. Anyway, I guess I'm still talking too much. We got Corbominal. Scroll of Piercing, Melanie, Benepede, Sphil, Krabala, 
Golded lifting up those rocks like they're nothing. Porygon, Reverse Hollow Ladian, and do we have first pack magic? Oh wow, we actually do. We got Metacross V. So that is pretty cool. I think I've gotten him before, but I wasn't expecting anything from these blisters, so I'm going to take that. I have my sleeves somewhere here. Using the Venusaur sleeves once again to kind of fit the battle style theme. But there is a pretty cool Metacross. Stick these guys off to the side. And let's see if this other blister can just, just be as good, but I don't know. I wasn't expecting one V, let alone any. Alright. See if we can go back to back on the blister, that would be pretty sweet. We've got Psychic Energy, Scroll of Piercing, Avery, the Wacky, the Monkey with the Sticks, Ghastly, Ladybug, Portagon, Swartix, Sneasel, Doctor, and, well, it's not, it had the code card apparently to be a V, so, but we did get a Porygon Z Hollow, the first one that I've gotten of that certain card, so that's pretty cool, two kind of nice hits from just a simple blister pack of one pack, so that's pretty nice way to start off this video. Alright, so today we got Moltres, you know, three Moltreses actually, Ice Rider and a Zapdos. I kind of had one of each pack arc last time, but this time we're going to have a couple Moltreses, so we're going to see what these guys offer. And I, I kind of did say in my last video, Moltres was my favorite artwork, um, so that's kind of cool that it worked out that way. Alright, we got some Metal Energy, Clara, Brawly, Hontor, Cat's Form, and the Sunny Form. Are you guys seeing a lot of sun this summer? It's kind of getting dry and hot. A Ladybug, Golette, Clavopus, Inkay, and oh wow, we got three hits in the first three packs. Another holographic with Frostmoth. Frostlass, not Frostmoth. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I think that's one of the cooler hollows of this set. So, we'll go on to the next pack with Moltres. Like, oh, if you watched the last video, we weren't so lucky last time. I think we ended with only one hollow out of the video. Maybe this one, this side of the pack, and Tin are making up for it. That'd be nice. Instead of going, I uh, can't even pull it out. Go to going five without really anything but a hollow. Maybe we're gonna go. Uh, maybe I should just focus on opening the pack. All right. Anyway, yeah, you got the point. What I was trying to say. I kept like reiterating it. I guess. Uh, we got fighting energy, scroll of piercing, Melanie, expedition unknown, Shepet, Cast form, Ghastly, Kavu, Hatina. Karen's Conviction and a Spirit Tomb uh, Holographic. We'll just stick them up there. We don't. So we're kind of back to reality. I mean, it was a strong start. You can't get them all, all the time, especially with Pokemon. Let's see if we can go two for three on the Moltres artwork, though. Grass Energy, Path to the Peak, Hatterin, Larion, Furfuru, Diglett, the Potato Mon, we don't want to see him no more, uh, La Resta, Inke, Rockruff playing in the snow, even though you see that a lot, you can't get that one too much. Oh, look, there's his father in the Midnight form, Lycanroc, and oh wow, we got a Lipard V. I think, uh, I can't remember, I think it was the blister pack battle with Palpatine, I got the alternate, or the full art of this, so that's nice that we got the regular to go along in the collection, so, nice. I think that's 50% pull rate there so far, with two hollows and two Vs, so that is pretty cool so far. And that's a pretty good sweet 
reverse hollow as well. I'll take lightning rock all day. Uh, two packs remaining with the chilling rain. Stay tuned as well. Oh, so you guys take that code. Um, stay tuned with uh, this channel. We are going to have another. Palpatine's going to make another appearance. We're going to do a chilling rain boost uh, battle. Maybe we're even going to go into space for our first time and battle him there. Who knows? Uh, Melanie, Brawly, Hunter, Cilio, Sobble, the bu Bubble Pokemon, Bon Sweet, the Potato Pokemon, we'll just throw them out, Larvista, Venipede, and Scolipede. That was kind of interesting. I think we had, I don't know, it was two water type anyway, but anyway, we had two of the same Pokemon. Alright, one pack left, and the Chilling Rain. Um, I'm excited for Evolving Skies. If you, are you guys? I know there's just like the last three set battle styles, Chilling Rain, they've had some phenomenal artwork. Rayquaza has a pretty, uh, Evolving Skies has a pretty cool Rayquaza alternate art. So I'm looking for that, forward to that. Um, anyway, yeah, we'll continue on. We've got Peony, Peonia, well, Pe uh, Crushing Gloves, Coughing. Deli Bird, Farfetch, maybe you didn't get any gifts from Deli Bird, Porygon, Heracross, Swordix, and for our last card of the set of Chilling Rain, we got, oh wow, we got, I wasn't expecting that, let alone in these uh, five cards packs of randomly of Chilling Rain, I did get the Japanese set uh, card of the Zapdos. So I was hoping for him, but we got him, guys. He's kind of the road runner, if you will, run up the hill. Maybe running. There's a coyote. Maybe Lichen Rock in the sense is chasing him, but let's not leave him out in the open too much longer. Let's sleeve him up. That is pretty exciting. Um, when I first started this, I didn't think I was gonna get so many of these. I got the Zero Aura in Japanese, but. I'll take this guy in English. Hopefully that means foreshadowing for Zero Aura. Who knows in the future. So we got both of those in the Japanese set. So there's a pretty sweet card. Um, I guess with that topic. Out of the alternate art of the three birds, what are your favorites? I think I like Articuno, but that one is probably... I mean all of them can put their money's worth into the, the competition. All right, without further ado, let's see if we got more good stuff coming our way. We got the Tyranitar tin here. I think this one had the better alternate art when it comes to um, the tins. So we got him with that single strike crush doing massive damage. Maybe he's energized after that big buffet that he has had with his friends. So let's sleeve this guy up. Put him over there. We don't want to cover in that dose, but it kind of must be done. Alright, let's see. I think they might be the same packs as before. Of course, we've got the two battle styles featuring Empoleon and Drainatar. Uh, uh, Sword and Shield. I think that one actually was different last time, but I could be wrong. But the other four should be the same. So we'll start like we did before, ending with Drainatar this time. Or it is his tin. Right, let's go ahead and set this bented box. Dude, it's crazy. Um, but yeah. Hopefully the cards are in better shape than the tin are. Alright, we got Tapu the Morning with Coco here. Maybe he'll bring us some good Coco Puffs. I don't know. But actually, we probably want the better pulls in the newer sets, in my opinion. I don't really know much about this. I didn't really open too much Sun and Moon, so I don't know what to expect. No, there's pretty cool sw sweet GX cards. But, yeah. Anyway, we got Psychic Energy, Hakuma O, the pretty sweet dragon Pokemon, Brooklet Hill, Dice Car gliding over the beach, Patel, Chansey, Grafita, Alolan, Vulpix, Fletchling, 
kind of almost looked like it had the shiny fates back to the ground, like the shiny Pokemon. The Thill, Reverse Hollow, and we got a non holographic Pangoro. We won't really stack them up with our, just to kind of avoid them mixing up there. Put them off to the side there. We got Zashian. Speaking of like Sword and Shield, I still need to get the big trainer box for the winner of this competition, of that tournament that was a little bit ago. Sword and Shield did pull out the superior, maybe the starting of all um, what happened. At, like Sword and Shield, it all started with this base set. So maybe it's um, who's destined to win. Alright, moving on. We got Dark Energy. Great Ball, Corva Squire, Dottler, Silicobra, Scorbunny, Cotney, Ponyta, Mincino, Galarian Meowth with his razor sharp claws, and Or Beetle. So again, stick him over there. I guess all the rest of them aren't going to be choosing rings, so I might as well stack them. Um, so uh, do we have that guy? Do you think we can get him after the big boy here? I don't know. Maybe he could be pretty cool add-on to this video. Um, but yeah, uh, Darkness of Blaze is a pretty good set. I look forward to any of those. That and good Voltage I want to do more of so we can hopefully get the Zard. Alright, cut on one off screen to open that, sorry. And we've got Dark Energy. Dartrix, Clank, Struggle Gloves. Hopefully, we're not struggling with this pull. Grimer, Wimpad, Fletchling, Passimian, Feebas. I think that's the same one that we got in the, the, uh, the promo of the blister box. Powerful Energy Reverse Hollow. And it uh, looks like we kind of have some shine. And hopefully, it's something good from Darkness Ablaze. We got. That's not too bad. We got Butterfree V. I think that's the first one I've gotten of him. So I'm excited for that one. It's not the one everyone hopes for, but hey, it's a V. And it's showing up, shaping up to be where Tyranitar is going to take this video. When, if there was any competition, I didn't really set one. But I guess there's not really a competition if you're blowing it out of the water. Alright, so we got into our battle styles. We have Boyon and Tyranitar. It's kind of weird how they planned that out, but it kind of like fits the cool feature of the tins. Let's see if we can get a, another V at least. Uh, maybe the Sleeping Tyranitar. That'd be cool. Perugly, Hunchcrow, Seedra, Galarian Slowpoke, Yamper. Murkrow, Selenit, Bellsprout, Agaslash, and we did get a holographic, so that's cool. We got another, I think we might have had him before. No, actually last video we had that one with Hollow with Sandaconda. So there's another Hollow to add into the collection. So it's like four Vs and no, five Vs, wow, and three Hollows, so that's a nice day. See if we can add on here with Tyranitar. Will he pull us? It's his tin, it's his moment here in this video. Will he shine in the spotlight? That is the question. It's the, the first scissors of the day, so that's not too bad. Alright. We got some dark energy. Luxio, Buffalant, that sap sipping guy who doesn't like wrestling on. Irma Vitality, Mean Fu, maybe like Kung Fu Panda reaching for those cookies in the cookie jar. And the Spiro, Sizzlepede, Shinx, is he going downstairs and then doing a handstand? That's pretty cool. Glamiao, and Stone Joner, non holographic. Um, not a way that we wanted to end at the end of the video, but. If you look back, we had quite an excellent day. We had Butterfree, that Tyranitar, of course, 
And that guy, of course, he makes the highlight of this video. The best cards that I've pulled in the English set, I think, so far. Yeah, I would say that. And there's Lipard and Metacross. And you can have one more look at that guy running up the hill, making an epic entrance in this video. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a good one. And like I said before, the comment section is for you guys to have the Q&A, any questions that you may have. Anyway, have a good night, guys. We'll see you next time.